Hi everyone, in this video we will learn about how to measure length using vernier caliper, measure mass using triple beam balance, and then we will measure uh, the abstract volume, the volume of abstract object using a liquid, and then we will discuss a little bit about prefix and standard form. So let's start with the vernier caliper here. Thanks for amrita.olabs.edu. This is a good simulation. You just you can just try around the sphere, for example, and then the iron block here, and then put your guess here, and then check it, check your result correct or not. Let's use this uh, iron block first. Okay, one thing you should pay attention is when you're using Carlier Caliper, uh, you're moving the lower jaw here, you're moving the lower jaw here, and then when you see the, when you have an object, let's say you put an object here, and then you try to measure, the first thing that you should pay attention to is uh, this line over here, the zero, in the vernier scale, vernier scale is the scale at the bottom part here. This is the vernier scale, and then pay attention to the zero in the vernier scale. Sometimes students miss it with this line. Okay, don't use this line, but use pay attention to this line, the zero in the vernier scale. So don't see. Don't miss and then confuse it with this line. Okay. So let's just see our result from before. Okay. As you can see, there is no number here, but usually there is number of zero and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine are there. Okay, as I told you before, pay attention to the zero, this line, the zero in the vernier scale, at the bottom scale, like this. See that it is uh, it's close to 4.1, but it's not 4.1 yet, right? See, it is not 4.1 yet, so it's still 4.0 something. Not 4.1 yet. See. Now the question: What is the question mark? So for the next step, after you get this, we will find out the question mark by find it by find the number in the vernier scale here that is most in line with the line above. So uh, it means at Check is the line is in line with the line above. For example, uh, seven. Let's try seven. Seven is not in line with the line above, so it's not seven. Eight still not in line, but nine. You see, number nine is very in line with the line above it. Exactly at the same line here. So. The number that we want to find is this 9. So the question mark here is 9. 4.9 centimeter. That's it, for example. Let's uh, check our answer. Is it correct? 4.09. It's correct. Let's try one more time. Beaker. Okay. Now, as you can see, when you want to find the beaker inner diameter, you want to find inner diameter, we use the smaller jaw, the one at the top, the jaw at the top, instead of the jaw, the, low, uh, the bigger jaw at the bottom. And that's how you use it. How to read it? It's still the same. Let's, let's try it. Okay, so this is the beaker, and then this is the measurement. The number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9.
as usual pay attention first to this to this zero the zero here shows about uh, it's not four yet it almost four but it's not four yet so it's still three point nine something so what is this question mark again we will see which one is the most in line for example five five is almost in line but not really in line six no, I think six is the correct one because six is very in line here with the line above see it's very in line so the answer is the number that we see is six it means the bigger glass diameter is 3.96 centimeter. Okay, let's check it in the simulation. 3.96. That's how you use the caliper. Triple beam balance. Triple beam balance is easier than vernier caliper. It used to measure uh, mass. Triple beam balance. Triple beam balance means there is three beam. The biggest beam is the one at the middle. You see, it show 200. The medium beam at the back it shows 10, and the smaller ones uh, it shows you the smallest measurement. Which show you about 7.3, 7.3 or 7.4. Okay, let's just put the number here. So we have 200 at the biggest beam, so it's 200 and 10, so 200, 10, so it's 2, 1, and last one is 7. Point, I don't know, it's in middle, maybe point 0.3. Let's check it. Oh, I'm correct. Yeah, the simulation is not uh, very clear for the last part. Let's do it again. The biggest beam show 200. The medium beam at the back show 0. So it's 200. And this is the last one. Show 6.5. 6 correct. Okay, let's try it again for the last time. 100 for the biggest beam in the middle and then 50 so 150 50 from the medium beam the last one at the front it shows uh, 4.1 so 100, 154.1 yes correct that's it that's how you use triple beam balance Next, then sit, uh, sorry, the volume. To measure the volume of an abstract object, well, usually it's an abstract object that cannot be measuring, that cannot be measured using a formula, like a cube. For a cube, you can just use a length and this times width, a height and width. But if you have an abstract object, let's say this is an abstract object, you can measure its volume by using a liquid. Just find the difference. For example, this before I put, I submerge the object, it is 100 liter. After I put the object, it is 105.5, and the difference is 5.5 liter, so the volume is 5.5. That's it. That's it. Very simple. The smaller one, the difference is 1 liter, so the volume is 1 liter. That's how you measure the volume of abstract object. Usually, we use measuring cylinder if, instead of the pools like this simulation okay next I want to talk about the prefix the prefix and standard form well yes you must memorize this there is no shortcut you must memorize at least this part from tera giga mega kilo hecto deca this is centimilli this is the common one and micro nano maybe until pico so from Terra to Pico, you must uh, at least memorize it and practice to use it to make sure you don't forget. Um, the other way to make it simple, 
because uh, this prefix is used to simplify the log of zero number here, right? So zero 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 here can be simplified using a prefix like this in the code. And then the result of zero here can be simplified using this prefix nano. Another way is using the standard form like this, 10 power something. Um, for me, if you have, let's say, a, big, a very big number like this, for example, all you need to do is to count the zero, right? How many zero here? For example, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight zero, so we can just change this into 65 times with 10 powered by 8. Or maybe if you want to make it 6.5, it sounds okay. 6.5 times 10 power, just put another, uh, just plus the power into 9, like this. Okay? But in decimal, if you have a very small number, like let's say this decimal, for example, like this, uh, for me there is uh, there, there is several way. For me, I uh, I count how many the comma the comma here the comma symbol move to the place that I want that I want it. For example, uh, I want to change this into five. Well, 5 actually is the same with 5.0, right? It's equal 5, it's the same thing with 5.0. So the comma, I want to change the position of the comma into here. So it must move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it will become 5.0. 0 times 10 power and don't forget to put negative because this is from a small number from decimal 10 power minus 9 why 9 because the commas need the comma the comma symbol need to move 9 times to the position that I want which is 5.0 if I have let's say 0 0.0000125 for example like this and then I want to change it into 12.5. It means the comma should change, should move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 12.5 times 10 power minus 6. Minus because it's from decimal. 6 because it must move 6 times to the position that I want. That's it. And if you already know how to use this, it will be easier for you to calculate, let's say, you want to calculate this, divide with this. You want to calculate this over this, so 65,000 divided by 0 0.005. If you change it into this form, it will be much easier. Uh, it will be much more easier. All you need to do is divide the 65 and 5. 65 divided by 5 will equal to 13. And then how to process this? 10 power 8 divided by 10 power uh, minus 9. Well, because this is a, a divide, so we just need to uh, change it into this. Like this. Okay, why minus? Because it is 10 power 8 divide. Divide by 10 power minus 6, eh, minus 9, so it will be minus. If it is 10 power 8, 
multiply by 10 power minus 9 then it will be 10 power 8 plus minus 9 okay so the power is plus if it is multiplication but because it is divide 10 power, in, uh, 10 power 8 divide 10 power minus 9 so it will use uh, negative minus sign so 8 minus minus 9 minus and minus become positive so it will be 8 plus 9 so we have 10 power 17 so that's the answer 13 times with 10 power 17 okay that's it thank you for listening